Today's Mass can be found in the Easter weekday hymnal. We'll be using number 13, The Strife is Ore, number 13. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The strife is o'er, the battle done. Now is the victor's triumph won. Oh, let the songs of praise be sung. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The powers of death have done their worst, but Christ their legions has dispersed. Let shouts of praise and joy outburst. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In this season of Easter, it's um, such a central aspect of our faith, so foundational that the season stretches, stretches forward into the future. And so we allow our hearts to expand as we first acknowledge our sin, preparing them to celebrate now our, these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to new life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who open wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murders you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated and they ground their 
teeth at him but Stephen filled with the holy spirit looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of god and jesus standing at the right hand of god and stephen said behold i see the heavens opened and the son of man standing at the right hand of god but they cried out in a loud voice covered their ears and rushed upon him together they threw him out of the city and began to stone him the witnesses lay down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul as they were stoning Stephen he called out lord jesus receive my spirit then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice lord do not hold this sin against them and when he said to this he fell asleep now saul was consenting to his execution the word of the lord thanks be to god into your hands o lord i command my spirit into your hands lord i command my spirit be my rock of refuge a strong hold to give me safety you are my rock and my fortress for your name's sake you will lead and guide me into, into your, your hands, hands lord i command my spirit into your hands i command my spirit you will redeem me o lord o faithful god my trust is in the lord i will rejoice and be glad of your mercy into, into your, your hands, hands lord i command my spirit let your face shine upon your servant save me in your kindness you hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men into your, your hands lord i commend my spirit alleluia 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The crowd said to Jesus, "What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat." So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. and whoever believes in me will never thirst the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ how nice it would be if we had a biography of stephen stephen is that first martyr i really want to know about his family of origin i want to know how he met Jesus and became a disciple how he was graced with this courage and conviction wouldn't that make for fascinating reading well we do have a short biography in our first reading today it offers us some information about Stephen he was not afraid to call a spade a spade 
He boldly accused the people, the elders, the scribes of their wrongdoing. Moreover, Stephen was graced with a vision of the risen Lord at the Father's right hand. And still more, Stephen prayed that he would not hold his persecutors' sin against them. In just a few verses, we're given such considerable information about our first martyr, Stephen. What is not said in the Acts of the Apostles can be inferred, and that is, for Stephen, Jesus was the bread of life. It was this Jesus to whom Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. It was this Jesus who on the cross begged the Father to forgive his executioners. It was this Jesus come down from heaven who filled Stephen with the gift of the Holy Spirit. So part of Stephen's biography would also include a young man standing off to the side watching the stoning. But the one stoning, Saul, then went on to meet the risen Christ. An encounter that would lead Saul, become Paul, to continue the evangelizing work of Stephen by preaching the good news of Jesus. Paul would take it to the Gentiles and to us, helping us see Jesus, the bread of life, sent from our Father in heaven. So we may not have a biography of Stephen per se. We do know his shared family of origin with Stephen, the first martyr. Let's celebrate how we share in that family of origin, that family of faith today with St. Stephen. We lift up now to the Lord our prayers this day. For the church, that the freedom brought by the resurrection may enable us to live with purpose and help others to forsake the fruitless pursuits of power, fame, and wealth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are awaiting the sacraments of initiation, that God will sustain them, help them deepen their commitment and grow in their desire to serve God each day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the human family that God will liberate us from the coronavirus pandemic, help us grow in our awareness of the needs of one another and build trust and cooperation among all peoples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that God's healing love will relieve their pain, strengthen their minds and bodies, and restore them to full health, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are unemployed, that God will help them find the resources that they need and open new opportunities for them to use their gifts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who are in isolation, that they may find companionship with God through the scriptures. Recall with gratitude all who are significant in their life and encourage others who are um, also alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grants, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature. Who lives and reigns, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit to the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for your good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, in whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church 
in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all of the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all that by sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them in the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs. And with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt him through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of, God, of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. How grand us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am I'm not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under my, my roof. roof. But, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. On the third morn he rose again, glorious in majesty to reign. Oh, let us swell the joyful strain. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. He closed the yawning gates of hell. The bars of hands, high portals fell. Let hymns of praise his triumph tell. Alleluia.